Hello everybody, it is Cryptic, and I'm making this video just to talk about the rules for Shining Onslaught 30, otherwise known as the Jewel Resort number 3. I'm making this video because I know that there's going to be a lot of rules and there's going to be a lot of questions about the ruling and the placements and the rewards and all that stuff, and Twitter has a character count and I don't feel like writing out 100 Twitter messages, so I decided this would probably be the best way to make all those questions known. So I'm mostly going to be going over all the rules and talking about the tournament itself. Now, the tournament is going to be a King of the Hill style tournament that we're going to be calling the King of the Skies. What we're intending to do is that each person is going to get on a console. Two people are going to get on that are going to be randomized at the start. We're going to take all the entrants that logged into the page and we're going to put them all on a list, randomize that list, and we're just going to go straight through them. And we just call up the first two people. Then when one of them loses, we call up the next person, and then they get on the console. Ideally, we like the other person to be in the room at the time that they're supposed to be up. And I'll try to see if I can get that streamlined as best as I can. Uh, the games are going to be uh, two rounds, best of one format. When you lose, you, you died, and, you got, and you're no longer the king of the hill or even on the hill. And the next person gets their chance to get on. And the winner is going to keep playing until they lose, as is the nature of a King of the Hill format uh, of anything. So those are the basic rules. In terms of placements, this is how I intended the placements to go. First place is going to be the person that has the longest streak. At, as the person who did the best in the King of the Hill, that would be the winner. Second place is going to be the current King of the Hill. So if... The previous King of the Hill was on a tirade and won 21 straight games. And then one person accidentally beat them. They are now second place. They are the current King of the Hill and therefore they get second place. And then third place will be a fan favorite. I'll put up a poll in the middle of the tournament. Or at the end of the tournament. And you can vote for who you want to be the third place winner. Now, by that logic, does that mean that one person can get every single prize yes it does it, it does mean that and that is possible and it could happen and if it does well this is just an exhibition tournament and we're just having fun with this i can't say all the rules are perfect but it's the best we can come up with to make it as fair and as fun as possible and while we're on that topic about making it as fun as possible i also realize that there's going to be a lot of waiting for the people who are not actively on and I do apologize for that. I, I am very sorry, but if you're not on the hill or next to be on the hill, there's probably going to be a bit of waiting on your part. And I apologize for that. But tis the nature of the style. Making gimmick tournaments is not easy in the slightest. To try to make it fun for everyone and make it an original idea is not easy. As such, I'm probably not going to have another gimmick tournament until... Well, another, f like, original gimmick tournament until probably Jewel Resort 5. Jewel Resort 4 may be a team tournament or something that people have done before. But another original idea is probably not going to happen for a while. But that's all. those are all digressions. Let's get back to the thing. There's not going to be any type of elimination from the tournament. There's not single elimination. There's not double elimination. You, keep, you can stay in the tournament for as long as you want. If you lose one time and you feel like leaving, just let people know and we'll remove you from the uh, from the list. But you can stay in for as long as you would like. The tournament will last approximately two hours. So since it starts at approximately 6 o'clock and more realistically it'll probably start around 6.15 with how I stall, it'll probably end by about the same time, about two hours later. I'll probably set a timer on my phone when the timer goes off. If the match is going on, they are the final match. At the end of that match, all results will be tallied. We'll have a, uh, a list of who is the current King of the Hills, which will be very obvious. We'll have uh, who had the most wins. We'll keep those tallied. And we'll start the poll to see who will be the third place winner. And in the event of a tie, for example, if two people share the uh, most amount of wins, or if there's a tie on the poll, then that will be decided via um, 
a, a one more match. So, like, if two people are the winner, like, for example, if me and Chloe were the winners uh, who had, like, ten wins each, then that means me and him are going to be fighting for who gets first place. Same goes for if there's a tie in the poll. Those two people will, will be fighting to see who wins. If there is more than two people who are tied on the poll, then I would probably put up a second poll or a, a Twitch poll or we'll figure out something to do in, the, in that scenario. And the final rule. There will be a mandatory character lock should you win. That means once you get on the console, you are free to pick any character you want at all. Doesn't matter who it is. However, once you win, you are locked on that character until you lose. So, you, once you, if you decide to go with Belial at first, and then like two matches in, you find a matchup that you don't really like playing as Belial, that's unfortunate, but you have to stay on Belial. So, with that, that covers all of the rules, and I think that's just about everything there is to talk about. If there are any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Well, I guess if this is being put on Twitter, you can put it in, the, in a comment on the Twitter thread. Whatever. If you have any questions, find a way to get it to me and I'll answer them as best as I can. So, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you there. I also forgot to talk about the giveaway. So, here's what my idea was for the giveaway. Any contribution to either myself or to the match Reno was going to be an entry to the giveaway. Let me explain. So, I intended so that if you claim a coupon code, and there's about 50 of them, if you claim one of those, then that's an entry into the giveaway. Aside from that, if you donate to the match Reno of a value greater than, let's say, $5, then that is another uh, entry into the um, giveaway that you can reclaim any number of times. Uh, in addition, if you subscribe to me on Twitch, then that'll be another addition. And if you gift a sub, that's another addition. So there's four different ways for you to get entries into the giveaway. With that said, at the end of the tournament, I am going to gather all of those entries and like put them on a wheel or something like an online wheel, spin it and randomly pick who is going to get the free copy of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So that is the idea that we're working with for the giveaway. So I think that covers everything and I'm probably forgetting something. And I know somebody's going to remind me. Anyway, that's about it. I'll see you guys at the tournament.